So this is not clickbait at all. This is 100% true. I got banned at Disney while working at Disney. Someone help me. What's up guys? Oof. And welcome back to Adventures with Eli. Now today we're gonna change things up. This is my first time doing one of these and I've been contemplating if I should do it or not. And finally I'm just gonna spill the tea. As you already saw by the title, uh, this is me getting banned at Disney while working at Disney. So, um, time for disclaimers. In no way, shape, or form am I advertising you to do any of this at Disneyland or encourage you at all to even try this at all or else this will happen to you, what happened to me. If you work there, if you happen to go to there and you worked and you did the things that I did, which I didn't really do but my friends did, and yeah, it's just a mess you don't want to get involved in. So before I start this video and tell you the whole entire story, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up if you like story times or stuff like this because this is my first time ever kind of explaining something like this. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. I'm going to be coming out with more and more content and more things that you guys are looking for, as well as special guests and all that fun stuff. So it's time for story time. Set the mood. There we go. Is this too dramatic? Okay, let's go back to normal. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, let's start from the very beginning. I no longer work at Disneyland, but this is when I was employed by the Walt Disney Company uh, and I was in the guest relations department, which that's where you deal with guest comments, concerns, and tours, and VIP tours, and different things like that. This happened in 2016, and I was really contemplating and telling this story. I don't know why I didn't want to tell you guys or not, but I've also been procrastinating of doing this, and I have so many more crazy stories. So, it all started in, you guys know my friend Ian. Ian has been on my Instagram a lot. Ian's one of my good friends that uh, I went to high school with, and we actually had become friends till after high school when we met up at sushi with some other friends, and Ian was our waiter so it's a crazy story I love that guy to death in no way shape or form am I trying to shame him or his friends this is just kind of like the story that happened to be all of us at the wrong time wrong place wrong thing everything uh <laughs> Okay, so it was not this past summer, but the summer before, I decided to call my friend Ian up and say, hey dude, like, let's go to Disneyland. I know you have a Disneyland pass, and I know I have a pass because I work there. That same night um, was Minnie's Moonlight Madness, which if you don't know what that is, that is where all the employees of the Walt Disney Company, you and three other guests, they either have to work at Disney or you can bring two guests in. Basically, long story short, it's a giant scavenger hunt that happens after park hours. It's the craziest, funnest thing, and this time was gonna be my second time going. So I already had a team prepared that night. So I told my friend Ian, hey dude, so I'm gonna meet up with you at Disneyland and then afterwards I'm gonna stay for the scavenger hunt, which is really cool because I already put in money for it and all that money goes to charity. It's just a really fun event and thing to do. He's like, all right man, no problem. I'll just pick you up and your friends could take you home. So I already worked out my whole ride situation. So I jump in Ian's car and there's two other people there. I've never met them. I already forgot their names. And if you're watching this, sorry. <laughs> when I got in the car, I jumped in the passenger seat and there was a girl and a guy who were around our age, which were all in our 20s. It was the girl's birthday and there was a guy in the back seat and then Ian was driving. We're on our way to Disneyland. We rolled down all the windows. We're blasting out, having fun, singing. We're soaring, flying. There's not a star. Anyways, uh, we're also singing uh, like Kuna Matara. What a wonderful phrase. Akuna Matara. Anyways, we're singing all your favorite Disney classics on our way to Disneyland. We all don't live that far too, so it was a very short ride. And so we started heading towards Disneyland and there was just a ton of traffic that day. It was the middle of the day and we just just all randomly decided to go to Disneyland. And so finding out it was the girl in the back seat, it was her birthday. And so I was like, oh dude, this is like a perfect time to go to Disneyland. We'll get you a little birthday button. We'll go on your favorite ride. We'll see the parade. We planned like a bunch of things out. I wanted to see the Frozen show because I believe the Frozen show just came out at that time. And I was like, we gotta see that show, right? So then we're going through the parking. We pay for parking. So I guess that day was so crazy that usually they have the giant parking structure. Well, in the parking structure, what they do when it gets completely full, they send you to the outside version of the parking lot which is called the Pinocchio lot. And now it was getting around sunset time, so the light was starting to dim. We were having so much fun in the car when we parked the car. We were just singing songs, just hanging out. One of our friends went, got out of the car because he had to get some stuff out of the trunk. So he went outside and started to check the trunk. While he was doing that, we were just still singing, and then I was just checking my Instagram. And we were actually sitting there, I don't I didn't even notice, but we were sitting there for a good like 15 minutes. Because again, we all have passes and it's no rush. That's the most amazing part about having a Disneyland pass is that 
there's no rush. You know the rides are always gonna be there. If you don't go on your favorite ride, you come back another time or you can just go get food, sightsee. So there was no rush at all for us to just jump out of the car and jump, go through security and go through the trams and all that fun stuff. So, I probably said so many times in this thing. So, so, so. So I, well, let's call her Susie because I don't remember her name. Susie in the backseat, it was her birthday. And then there's Tommy who was in the trunk searching for things. I think he was looking for his annual pass because he threw his wallet back there. And then there's just me and Ian in the front. The sun was setting super fast. And so our friend gets back into the car and he closes the door, which you think most of us are gonna jump out and all get on the tram. So I look back and right there he has a bottle. What is it called? A bottle? I literally forgot the name of the firework. Rocket bottle? Bucket? Bucket lotto? Rotter? Rock bottle? Bottle rocket? Bottle rocket? Things that like really explode and make a really loud noise. Right? Bottle rocket. Bottle rocket sounds right. And I see one lit and I was like, what are you doing? And he lights it in the car and it makes this loud noise. Boom. And he's like, happy birthday, Susie. And everyone's like, what the heck, Tommy? Like, what are you doing? And then he threw confetti at her and then he lit a sparkler. And we're, this is all inside the car, but all the windows are down. The sparkler's lit. Put it outside the window so nothing in the car catches on fire. And like, I was just like, what the heck's going on? We were just laughing the whole time because we're like, what the heck? Like, Tommy, where did this come from? And I was like, dude, we're gonna see fireworks tonight. What was the point of doing that in the first place. Finally, we're getting ready. I'm checking my phone again, checking Instagram. I forgot what I was doing. My pass that shows that I'm a cast member was on my leg. It was on my leg. Next thing I know, it was literally like a movie. I was texting on my phone and I hear a knock at the window and I turn to my right. It was like literally all in slow motion. So I'm on my phone, I turn to my right and there's a Disney security guard there. I'm like, oh shoot, like what just happened? I just, I don't want to be... I don't want to get in trouble for anything, and so it was like a movie. He's like, step outside the car. So we all get out of the car. I'm not even joking, you guys. I don't know how the heck they did this. Disney has some magic or something. Like, there's four Disney security cars with flashing lights and one cop car. And I was like, one, where did these lights come from? Like, you would have saw them. Like, it was like they all turned it on once we got out of the car. I don't know. It was so trippy, and I remember thinking like, what the heck is going on? Shoot, like, did we just get in huge trouble? Am I gonna get fired? Like, just so many things ran through my head. And so all of a sudden, they just started taking down our information. And like, he's like, give me your ID. So I give him my, not even my Disney ID, but I gave him my government state ID, you know, our California driver's license. And I gave him that, and he got everyone else's. But I see a manager there, and I was just like, oh my god, dang, like, what the heck just happened? So um, I gave him my Disney ID, and then I just went to the manager, and I go, hi there, I'm so sorry to bother, like, what was wrong? Is there anything that I can help, what is the, seems to be the situation. And the cops are in the back, but they're not really doing anything. I don't know if they were there just to like, if we got hostile or we ran, I have no clue, even though our car was in the parking lot. He was just like, yeah, you were lighting illegal fireworks of cars and ashes were hitting families. We got reports that you were lighting illegal fireworks that were shooting up, ashes were hitting families and kids. And I was like, wait, what the heck? Like, I was like, you know what, sir? I'll admit that we lit a bottle rocket. Is that what it's called? I don't even know. I sound so dumb right now. Sorry, sir, we did light a sparkler and a little thing that explodes, but it was all inside the car. And he goes, well, isn't that super dangerous? And I go, yes. Honestly, I don't know the guy. Like, I didn't know he was gonna do something like that. I go, I know we have fireworks at Disneyland. I think he might have just thought it was okay for him to light his own. And the manager was like, well, you know you're on a Disney property and you shouldn't be doing things like that, especially as a cast member. It does not reflect us really well and I'm just like, you know what? I'm so sorry like this happened to be at the wrong place the wrong time I had no control of them and nor did I know he was gonna do that I would have prevented the whole situation again I only know this one guy and that was my friend Ian if there's anything we did or disrupt I promise it was just inside the car Like I just kept being apologetic the thought that just kept running through my head was I'm gonna get fired I'm gonna get fired and Disney is very keen with their rules and different things like that as he's taking down my ID information He goes I just want to let you know that you are not allowed to be on Disney property for example exactly 24 hours. If you are on Disney property, you'll be for sure terminated or even worse, we may prosecute you for trespassing. And I was like, wait, what? He's like, yeah, you can't go on any Disney property, anything like that for 24 hours. I have Minnie's Moonlight Madness tonight. That's an event tonight. I go, you know about it. He goes, unfortunately, you will not be allowed to attend till we do our full and complete investigation. At the time, I don't know if I had work or not, but I remember saying, uh, what if I have work tomorrow? He's like, you cannot come into work. Um, you would need to call your managers and let them know the situation. The friends that we were with, Tommy, Susie, and Ian, they felt so bad. Like, this is not how we wanted to 
celebrate her birthday. This is not how we wanted it to all unfold. So it was just like a terrible situation. So I got banned off Disney property for a complete 24 hours or even possibly longer. Once I got home, I was freaking out. I was trying to call my managers. Oh, now I remember. I didn't have work for like the next three days, which kind of worked out. So I kept calling my managers, calling, calling, and they weren't answering. So then I showed up to work because I had work scheduled like on the following couple days later. Everything was fine. And then finally later on in the future, my managers met with me. I talked to them about it, told them the whole scenario. They did an investigation and different things like that and saw that I had no fault, nor did I have control of those people. So Disney is very keen on their image and their look. And that was the last thing I wanted to do was kind of tarnish it or make it look bad. It was just literally a bad scenario. So I'm so grateful that I was end up remaining to keep my job. I actually worked there for another whole year later until I decided to move on uh, to my career path, which I'm doing now, which is YouTube. My managers were so understanding, but I thought I'd just share this crazy story with you because who can say they got banned at Disney while working at Disney. <laughs> it's crazy. So I thought I'd share that with you guys. This is my first time sharing stories and I have tons of crazy other ones. So seriously, let me know if you really enjoyed this story. Comment down below because I have this one crazy one about Justin Bieber that I need to make a story time about. So I'm trying this out and seeing if you guys like it. Make sure to subscribe. Stay tuned for more. All right guys, I love you so very much. Also, I'm on an adventure every single day. So make sure you follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. Thanks for supporting and always being by my side. Love you. Did I just hit myself? Love you. Wow. Love you guys. See ya. Bye.